In this video I'll show you how to convert bitmaps into vector graphics and bitmaps in simple words are images made of pixels, JPEG for example or some other similar file type. One of the main advantages of converting bitmap into a vector graphic is that once it is a vector graphic you can scale it up as much as you want without losing quality. As you know images made of pixels when you scale them up you start losing quality, you end up with a blurry, low quality image. Another very useful thing that you can do when converting an image into a vector graphic is that you can easily separate the colors, which can be used, for example, in printing on t-shirts. If you want to print this on a t-shirt, you will need to separate each color on a different layer so you can print multiple screens and then print the graphic on a t-shirt. So let's see how we can do this. First I'm going to create a rectangle here with a gray color because uh, if I move the graphic up you see that some of it is white and we won't be able to see what's going on on this white background. So I'm going to move it over here for now. Go to the path menu and choose the trace bitmap option. I'm going to reset the options here. These are the defaults. So with the image selected and with this dialog started, I'm going to choose the colors option and I'm going to reduce the scans to three. As you can see here, we have red, we have black and we have also white. I'm going to also remove this stack scan option, then click update, then click OK. And once this is active again, this means that uh, the process has finished and I can grab this and now I have this vector graphic over here. Now you see that this is just one object. If I want to separate it, I'll go ahead and ungroup it from this option. And now you see that we have the white part, we have the red part and we have the black part. I'm going to close this dialog. And if you notice something, we have now here some white parts that are not in the graphic here. As you can see, if I move it over, we don't have anything white over here. So what can we do here is select this, go to the path menu and choose break apart. And this will break uh, this object into individual objects. And now I can select these and just use the delete key to remove them. There is also something that happens often. I don't know if you can see it from here, so I'm going to zoom in, holding down the control key, turning the mouse wheel, and you see here we have some weird stuff going on around the graphic. This is from the red piece. You see that we have these red lines, which shouldn't be here. So I'm going to grab all this and delete it. Select the graphic again, go to path, trace bitmap, and uh, from the options tab over here we can also work with this suppress speckles option and for example if I go to 100 click update then I'll click OK move the graphic over here close this you see that now we don't have this uh, red stuff on the graphic another thing if you want to remove the background I'll delete this with the delete key start the trace bitmap dialog again go back here and click on the remove background option update ok and now we have a graphic without the white background again we can ungroup it and we can have two layers of the two pieces of the graphic undo this with ctrl z and of course now we can scale this up as much as we want without losing any quality now let's uh, check out the other graphic that I have here, the other image. I'm going to select it, path, trace bitmap, and I'm going to reset the options. This time we have uh, just one color here, we have black, and I'm going to use the brightness cutoff option. Again I'm going to remove the scans, I'm going to remove the background also, and I'm going to reduce the scans to 3 again, update. Click OK, drag the graphic over here, let's move it all the way up, 
and uh, now if we use the ungroup option you see that we won't be able to ungroup it this is just one object so if you want to gain access to the text for example we need to go to the path menu and choose the break apart option again and this can happen sometimes all I need to do is click away then select this uh, part over here by clicking over here and change it back to white then I'll select this piece change it back to white and this one and now we have the same graphic this time vector graphic of course and this now uh, gives us access to the text also so I can select uh, the letters holding down the shift key I'm adding to the selection let's remove this one and now I can change the color to something else for example red so you see how we can convert images into vector graphics and then further edit them to fit our needs. You can see that this dialog offers a lot of options. I'm going to talk about them in detail in my beginner's guide episodes. In this video I just wanted to show you some of the more important options and uh, how to convert a bitmap into a vector graphic fast and easy. And I hope this video was useful, if it was, like it, leave me a comment, if you're new to my tutorials, subscribe, visit my channel for more, watch my beginner's guide episodes where I explain all the tools and options of Inkscape in detail, and that's it for this one, bye for now.